So um, we're going to talk today about the whole tone and the um, and the blues scale, and I'm not going to give you really any theory. I'm just going to show you like where everything is and how easy how how they're pretty closely related. Okay, so you have the blues scale, which of course is one flat three four flat five five uh, flat seven and um and the whole tone scale that is um really closely related to that would be from C as well. Um, and it's just whole steps. But if you look at it, it's the notes are very close to the blues scale. So in other words, in this right here, this note is close to here, which is part of the blues scale. And so is the D from the whole tone scale. So you actually have, if you, if you made your own scale from it, you would have something that would sound like this. Now, this means nothing if you don't hear it over um, a backing track. So, I'll noodle around and you can hear it. Now, actually, before I go on, what the what you you what you're gonna use the whole tone scale for in this blah 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 blah, blah stuttering over my words because the cat kept me up last night I'll blame it on that um so you're gonna use the whole tone scale as um it, it needs to resolve so you're gonna use it as a tension creator okay so when you play it you just you just don't want to leave it hanging. You want to resolve it back to let's say something from the blues, and what I mean by it, what I mean by that is this. So here's. So here's the whole note scale. So I'm gonna do just about that much, and then go into the blues scale. So you can see it's actually kind of it's kind of gritty. It can also sound a little bit outside, you know, especially if you run the whole scale. want to do that um, in other words anything that just kind of blatantly says whole tone I mean I suppose if you've never done this before absolutely do that just wing out the scale again it's super easy you just take this shape up a fret up a string up a fret up a string up a fret up a string skip two frets now, and another beautiful thing about the whole tone scale, the whole tone scale, I don't know why I said it like that, um, is that it repeats these little um, phrases or shapes, shall I say, repeat every two frets. So if I went, I could do the same thing. I don't know if you want to play that much of it, but practicing it, Absolutely, because you want to get comfortable with it. So, that's a really nice way to practice it because you can have fun with just playing the same shape and there's really no pressure. This is fast, so if you've never done this before, you want to take it about... Let's see about this tempo. That's 75%. Put it back.
back to where it was. I have this great Vidami pedal. I don't know if you guys have checked it out. It's the best way to control YouTube. Hands-free. All you have to do is learn where the buttons are. Um, and then you don't even have to look at the buttons. You can just start it. Stop it. Okay. So what I would do is I would now take um, a few very basic patterns and have them planned out. So this is a great one too. And this sounds kind of bluesy. So probably out of all the ones that I play, this one is one that will pass on a gig. <laughs> um, especially like a blues gig where you're gonna turn heads if you use this. You might cause your own head to turn after the band leader. So anyways, here's how the lick goes. It starts on B flat. I don't know, can you guys see? I have to raise my guitar. Okay, so. And then you repeat it again. Repeat it again. So all together, it sounds like this. Track with the track it sounds like this. So what you could do is after you play the last one, if you're gonna play the entire thing, something like that maybe. Let's try that. couple of our patterns. So you can see, I'm purposely not trying to take it too far out, but I will as we go along with this. Um, so that's a really good entry pattern entry level pattern where we have this this one entry level a little bit more complex now then you probably should be able to go down um, just if you're interested in the the, the picking aspect of it I'm doing a, a backward sweep, and then again, again. Simple, really simple. Not a lot of pick work. Um, sometimes I'll do it on hybrid style, but that's the benefit of using the thumb. The thing is, the thing I'm hearing is, you really want to try and get to the connecting note without stopping it. So uh, um, just move quickly. If you want it to sound legato-ish. Let's see what that sounds like. So going up. I like the one that goes down as much. could do putting both things together now another thing is playing these kind of shapes the actual scale goes but these notes 
are all notes inside the whole tone scale. The C whole tone scale. And, as I said before, it repeats every two uh, frets. into the blues scale so you can play some uh, legato and of course we all know that legato plus overdrive equals Alan Holdsworth so get over it <laughs> and don't worry about it imitating him you're not gonna be imitating him okay um, bit Scott Henderson like he may oh I wouldn't be surprised he may have done something like that <laughs> But if you skip strings, no. Now it doesn't sound like Scott at all. It sounds like Alan. That's pretty cool sounding. And now we're going back to the C blues. Now, now when you play the C blues, it's like so. You do have to be careful, and it really depends upon the playing situation. If you're playing at home, man, do whatever the F you want. If you're playing on the gig, be careful. Be careful. They'll fire you. Like, this will get you fired. How does this sound? the room so you guys have any questions ask your questions I think I've noodled around enough it's you know if you don't pay attention to, to the track thing it's on um, what outside playing brilliant Ireland wait a second I don't know what you're saying I need to I need to um, hang on a second let me let me find where it is that you guys are commenting so I can see what's going on. I like your tone. Oh, hey, thanks very much. Jack Maple, outside playing, brilliant, Ireland. Okay. <laughs> thanks, Jack. Right back at you. So, I think it's really cool to kind of psych out. <laughs> Now what I'll do is I'll, um, oh, gotta lift the guitar up again. So, it's not that the guitar is heavy, I never play with my leg like cross this high. Um, so I'll call it out. So here we go, here's, we'll start with whole tone. Because this could be blues, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
of stuff out that I'm doing. Sorry, I was just totally lost. So, um, uh, whole tone. Blues. I'm thinking whole tone, how am I gonna get there? do is I would just simply um hmm this is weird wonder if I lost internet no I didn't wonder if I lost uh, internet uh, little echo um so what I would do is again I would put on the play along let me find it C7 backing track by Luca if you don't know who Luca is check him out on Instagram shredder riffic um here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll slow this down. Okay, so now I'm trying to figure this out. Nice and slow. farther then slow it down further there is no shame in that and actually you can relieve some of that pressure now when you do that of course the track gets like a little bit wobbly but let's see okay perfect example i've got to calibrate my own hmm. uh, Also, you check your groove. You get so used to playing these mid and fast range tempos that a lot of times when things slow down, then you um, just absolutely destroy it in a bad way. And again, it's that that's a fireable offense as well. You need to be able to play in time and you need to be able to play across a range of tempos. So it's great to check yourself, slowing it down, and then kind of speeding it back up. This thing gets really slow. We're not gonna... that but it's really difficult and then we're back up to the normal tempo of this track <laughs> So now I'm opening the questions up to you. What do you guys want to know about this? Let me go to here where I can see your questions. Um, anything? Baron guitar. 
I don't know who Baron Guitar is. Well, hello. Ah, I put I put people to the um, put your fire to the your feet to the fire, and mm, there's no questions. Well, guys, I just wanted to come on here and give you a quick um, something to think about. Maybe something to try. Maybe you don't like the sound. I understand it. That's okay. And um, just have fun with it. That's really the name of the game, especially when you're trying to learn improvisation. It's really, really difficult. Hey man, scales and such. Yeah. Scales and such. You thought it sounded great? Hey Gabe, thanks very much. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. I'm trying to mix some scale and get the sounds too. You know what, Baron, let me tell you something. When you when you do that, in the beginning, it's really effective for you just to be able to differentiate the two, play one and then play the other. So if I if I again use this track as an example and I'll slow it down, I'm gonna slow it down to 50%. Two, three, four, one, playing the blues scale. the whole tone scale around the same area. Okay, so. And then maybe go up. Another thing that I, I failed to mention, which I should have mentioned was that just do the whole tone scale for starters right here. Don't worry about the um, you know, this extended thing here. Don't don't worry about that just yet. Just stay in this general position. Where can I find the backing track? Oh, it's um if you search C7 funk backing track, and it's by um Luca Mantio Vanelli. Um Harmonic minor. What, what are you writing here? I can't see. I've got to go back to this page. It's the, the writing is so small. Um, you're saying one, two, flat three, four, five, six. Harmonic minor would be it with the natural seven. Um, um, let me see if there's any other questions. Hey, Az um, Azel, how are you doing? First of his name. Oh, Azel, first of his name. Okay, that's your screen. <laughs> All right, so back to what I was saying. So you have your minor pentatonic. And then you have the whole tone. So going back to the track, step one, one more time. side that I want to mention is that when you're going up this, the blues scale it's rare that people just play it straight out like that so notice that when I came down that I went and I'm not trying to be perfect with the bends not this is not this is not the time or place to be perfect with the pens. Oh, sorry about that. So now I'm gonna just try and mix the top three strings of the blues scale and the top three strings of the whole tone.
it sounds a little bit robotic, but who the F cares? You're just trying to get used to where your fingers go and play in time. As far as like making a musical statement, that can be a later step. If you put too many steps in, and most people do, if you put too many steps in, you're really going to, you're going to be at a loss. You're going to get frustrated and then you're going to think the whole thing sounds like crap. Um, okay, there's more questions. Okay, I love that. Um, melodic minor. You meant melodic minor. No, melodic minor still has, um, melodic minor has the, um, I can't see what you write. Oh, right, 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 right. You meant a natural seven because, God, I think I need a new prescription. <laughs> uh, I'm not talking about prescription drugs, folks. Um, these. Um, okay, harmonic minor is the neoclassical thing. Of course it is. Trying to mix melodic minor with the whole tone and blues. Ooh. Um, okay, shall we do that? Try it. Melodic minor. Make it 75% so we can get it moving a little bit. So melodic minor? Okay, you asked for it. You see the smile? This is the kind of smile um, that, yeah, when you got a good wife. Um, so yeah, that was actually a great idea, Baron. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. I love it. I love it. See, um, I've been teaching a long time. Um, you're never done learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Melodic minor up a half step, but hang on a second. Flap, flapam, flapamsy. <laughs> Hang on a second with that. Of course, melodic minor up a half a step creates altered, but it creates altered against a dominant card. So you might be thinking of if I were to superimpose a G7 and then I could use A flat melodic minor. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, I know what it's gonna sound like. So here's whole tone, blues. That little part, that was um, that was the altar thing. So blues. Oh, sorry, I can't talk at the same time. So blues, whole tone, altered back to the one card. Blues again. Thank you. 
of that that sounds a little bit jazz cheesy. I don't know how else to describe it because it's a common thing. It's a common thing in jazz to have, you know, some, if somebody's playing Lydian dominant also can sub for the one. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it can, it can. Um, but if you're looking at Lydian dominant, we're already playing all the notes from Lydian dominant with all these scales mixed up. So the, the real awesome thing about it is you get to choose what flavor you like. Um, interesting alternate. Yep, going to the one. Um, blues, whole tone, altered, back round. Yes, Lydian Dom, also sub for one. Um, okay, so let's try Lydian Dom. You're gonna see what I mean. You're gonna see, folks. Lydian Dominant. <laughs> already has that whole tone-ish vibe to it. Sorry about that. sounds a little safe when um, when I hear the Lydian dominant thing. I guess for so long I've done um, like those kind of sounds that's all that's all Lydian dominant sounds. That's all Lydian dominant sound. I kind of think of that more like a shred thing. Um, the whole tone is more angular, and the pentatonic has its own angles too. So, um, let's see. get that in your head. Two, three, four. time there <laughs> so yeah I really you know the melodic minor thing sounded kind of cool if is it's if you play that cliche melodic minor thing it starts to sound I don't know um you like the Lydian dominant as a tunnel or a connector between the other stuff but you get bored with it. I get bored with it a lot I get bored with it a lot flaps and bent Tom yeah I don't know what it is. It's, you know, I'm so used to hearing, let me, let me speed this up here. That's just a very, very common sound at this point. That doesn't mean you can't change it up and make it. dominant thing has messed my head up now. <laughs> yeah, hot off the fryer is right. Um, I don't know. 
there's something that like tamed it all down when you, you when you use Lydian dominant. <clears throat> Do you guys feel that same way? Like it got tamed? I've just done it so long for so many years. I had this thing that I came up with. This has nothing to do with, you know, the, the title of, of the um, actual thing. Um, geez, that's funny. <laughs> um, is this... That's all Lydian dominant. It sounds Lydian dominant. I'm gonna lower this mother. There we go. It sounds Lydian dominant. And um, yeah, I mean, if, let's see. Oops. And actually, I think I ended on F sharp. Yeah, I think that that's something I, I probably wouldn't use to the end because there was something that's very angular with the whole tone, and then having to mix that in with the blues is really. Um, no, I don't. I do not, Azel. I do not. Sorry. Um, the last video that I did. Um, the short, it just actually just sucked so badly that people, ba it's, it's weird. It's like, it took me a long time to do it. People just, um, bailed after 44% of watching the whole, or watching 44% of it. So, um, anyways, let me, let me go back to the, let's go back to the, um, the blues and the whole tone. So we'll just weed things out. stark sounding and that's I find that more interesting and um, hmm so how about that voicing G C sharp F sharp G sharp that's kind of nice isn't it what if I play two notes with one finger let's see what happens that's not anything interesting. That's not anything interesting either. How about... That's nice. And then... <laughs> so... see what you guys are writing um yeah do, doing a, yeah okay we're here to talk guitar 
not il <laughs> Illuminati. Um, I wish music people on YouTube got paid for their talent and knowledge because you'd be a billionaire. Brent, big hug to you, man. That's very kind of you. Um, you know, I kind of knew when I got into teaching because uh, you, you might hear my videos where I'm like, hi, this is Professor O'Kane. It's because I'm an actual professor and I decided to be um, a guitar teacher and I wanted to be a world-class teacher and a, and a good player. And um, I've just been doing it for a long time now. I don't think I've hit the good player thing yet though, um, but the teaching thing I've done for a long time and I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at it all the time. Uh, but thank you so much for that, that, those kind words. Um, I'll go with just a millionaire. How about that? Give whoever's supplying the money a break. Um, let's see. Sounds very jazz fusion. It's supposed to sound jazz fusion. It is. There's no escape in it. There is no escape in it. Um, there's a guy, um, you were a great professor. Do you remember me from you? Oh yeah, I remember exactly who you are. Oh, Tom, okay, yeah, <laughs> of course. Yes, yeah. Uh, thank you, Tom. Thank you so much. Um, you only do the RNC and hold it for 10 minutes? Okay, well, I hope you like sleeping on your stomach in jail. <laughs> um, so I'm saying um a lot. My friend pointed that out to me and I really need to stop. I really need to stop. It's not a really great thing. Uh, I did it again. So guys, I've been on here a while. Um, oh, I've been on here a while and it's really been a pleasure. My brain started working after a few minutes of talking because I haven't really been talking that much today. And I really appreciate all 13 of you. There were 16 people, 17 people at one point, And I'm just very grateful. Very grateful that somebody would really, really like um, anything that I have to say. I'm here to help. That's what it is. And I think when you come to the table like that with the desire to help and the interest, like to the genuine interest, that's that's been my entire life. I have geared it that way, my entire professional life. I actually was into teaching or learning um, methodology. Even as a kid, I've, I've looked back on my patterns, not just the whole tone patterns. Um, keep it coming, yeah. I need to keep it coming. He's a BJJ, who is it? His son just moved up to adult class. Oh, you guys are doing jujitsu. Oh yeah, my jujitsu. This is a great hoodie. Wow, super comfortable. Um, yeah, jujitsu is great. Watch yourself, you, you will get injured. It's just a matter of time. So you gotta um, not do anything stupid. Don't have a big eagle. Tap when you need to tap. It's not that big of a deal, okay? You are gonna get crushed. You are gonna get um, um, tapped out a lot. <laughs> I know I do and um, I have. I've, I've been doing this for a long time. I'm not great. I don't ever claim to be. So um, I'll let you guys ask for, um, you have a guitar lesson in two hours. So this is a good warm up. Hey, all right. I love it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so um, Hickson. Hickson is spelled with an R, by the way. It's like Rickson. But in Portuguese, you pronounce the R's, H's. Okay? So, guys, um, again, I'm extending my thank you to you. We're like 45 minutes in, and it's just been a real pleasure. Love doing this, and probably should do it more often. If you have any ideas for topics that you would like to see me cover in my own imitable way, how do they say that? in my own bizarre way, how about that? Then throw them at me, okay? You can put them in the comment section, I'll definitely check it out. Or DM me on Instagram. Um, 
that is Streetwise Guitar on Instagram. Okay, you could DM me and say, hey, I've got an idea and I'll check it out and I'll, I will genuinely consider it. Um, uh, oh, wait, uh, tips on learning a song. Please do lessons more like this one more often. Hey, John, thanks so much. Thank you so much. Be uh, for sure. Give this a, a like click because that helps the the algorithm. They see I'm not a total useless guy. And by the way, I've got some absolutely killer content coming up. I'm not just saying that. Let me let me raise this. I feel like I'm slouching. Um, I have some really killer content coming up, and I'll give you I'll give you guys a teaser since you hung out with me for so long. Why the blues? How do I say why why the blues did not come from the delta? Yeah, why did the blues not come from the delta? That one is going to ruffle a lot of feathers. It's not a new concept. It's been what I'm going to teach is already been, it's already been talked about, but I think it's going to ruffle some feathers. You know how blues guys are. They're very um they're very uh precious. So, um, get the, the like you fellas so you can come back next week. Yeah, absolutely. Because it came from the devil. Actually, it did not come from the devil. Quite the opposite. So there's that one. And then there's another. This one's going to be, an, this is an interview that is going to be a launching the most important text on Alan Holdsworth. There's been books written about Alan Holdsworth, but this book teaches you exactly what he was doing and how to do what he does. You can't expect to have the physical prowess he had. He was just a physical phenom. He was um, an absolute phenom. So imitating the physical aspect, it's not about that. It's about... Um, having a bird's eye view into exactly what he was thinking about when he was improvising. And this is backed up by a lot of evidence. So it's the most important text. It's going to be over 2000 pages. And I'm interviewing the author right here on this channel. The interviews in the can. I'm, we're just waiting. We're just waiting for everything to be done. So that's going to be a great one. And there's another interview I want to do with somebody who um, appeared on my um, the Neo Soul video. Can't remember what the name of the, the title of that. Uh, what are you guys writing? Nice Alan Holdsworth. Yeah, this thing's gonna be incredible. Yeah, it's not only that he had spider hands um, and he had big hands, but he was very accurate and he was incredibly fast. Like the, the what he developed with Legato playing, I think is gonna be remain unparalleled for a long time or forever. Um, I, no, I actually didn't like Rush. Um, except ding to that ding to get that ding ding to that ding to get that or bam ba bam 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 ba bam 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 do 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 yeah aside from those two tunes emotional feeling we used to say that you know the only girls that liked Rush were the girlfriends of the guys who liked Rush. Sean Lane is amazing. He's amazing. I I I really appreciate him. My friend. Marshall Harrison, if you've ever seen him on here, the virtual. So he is, um, oh, hi, Ghosty. He is, he was influenced by Sean Lane quite a bit and can actually do stuff that's as fast as Sean Lane. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. Sean Lane. Uh, everybody likes Sean Lane. Yes. Marshall is great. Marshall is great. Marshall is a virtual soul. He is a virtuoso. Oh, really? That's fantastic. That's a great interview. He was really on. Hey, 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 look who we have here. Look who we have here. I was never a cat person, I'm a dog man. But then this, this guy, this guy, look at that. Perfect face. 
He's got a perfect face. It offsets this. Yeah? Yeah, you look tired or hungry or both. Um, he's amazing. Hey, um, Christopher, all of that stuff that he's reading, he's read many, 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 many times before. Many times before. So he's not sight reading. He can sight read. Uh, he, he sight reads tab is what it is. Um, I, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but I helped him put, uh, I know, isn't he? He's, he's unreal. He's unreal. He's bit me like 1500 times and scratched me. Some, some of them are really bad too. Um, oh, highly allergic. Yeah. You know, thank God he doesn't shed. He, this, this guy does not shed. Look. But he does got a lot of sand in his in his coat. Um, so if you haven't checked out Marshall, you should definitely check out Marshall. Uh, Marshall is uh, really an inspiration, not in like not in his improvisation, but how I, I could never play fast had I not ever met him. Um, your cat is from hell, okay, Christopher. I had a black cat, and he was. As chill as it gets. Yeah, you know what? He's actually gray. He looks black here, but I don't know if you can see. Like he's um he's a Russian blue, I think they is what they call him. Right? You're a Russian blue? Did I get it wrong? Well, guys, you don't want to see me up here holding my hairy pussy, do you? <laughs> oh cat humor. Oh, my wife calls him Toxic Cat. He's Toxic Cat. Marshall, who is that? Look up Marshall Harrison. Look up Marshall Harrison. Ow! See what I mean? <laughs> um, I didn't say your cat is from hell. No, no, no. He, didn't. he is. <laughs> See what I mean? But he didn't actually, he didn't actually break the skin this time. Fret Science. I'll actually check it out as soon as I say goodbye. Guys, I'm sure I have overstayed my welcome at this point. Thank you so much. Maybe I'll come on here again next Sunday. It was fun. It really was fun. Thanks, lads. I'll leave this up so you guys can check it out. Steal from it. Uh, make fun of it. Um, you know, it's the old expression. How many guitar players does it take to turn and put in a light bulb? One, and then nine to say that they can do it better. So, yeah. Dish it out. I'm, I, I've got thick skin. <laughs> You're subscribed to him? Okay, great. Great. Take care, lads. Bye.